Welcome to Shepherd's Coffee Talk. I'm Kathy Donovan. Noticeably absent today is the lovely Marlene Shepherd, who took that carry-on bag that she packed 14 outfits for seven days in and left on a cruise. So we hope that Marlene, wherever you are right now, you're having a wonderful time. We are here with Paula Roy of Constantly Cooking. Paula's a recipe developer, food blogger, television personality, has a show on Rogers. And today she's back with us on Coffee Talk to celebrate citrus. So we thought we would bring this element in, especially because we're heading into February now. Can yes. you believe how long this winter feels? January has been a long, long month. month. Mm -hmm. They say, you know, we're only 300 185 days into January it already feels long but I'm, I'm jesting um, we wanted to talk about citrus today and how we can get more of it into our lives because from a health uh, perspective vitamin C is in all of this that's right where do we begin this conversation just trying to think about more than reaching for that orange, right? People think, you know, Christmas wheat, clementines, yes. there's that kind of thing going on, but there's so much more you can do <laughs> with citrus fruit. Well, and if anybody's going to know what to do with it, it would be you. And you've brought some beautifully creative pieces here today. Let's talk about what we've got. Well, we'll start with this little gem over here. Uh, fennel and orange are an amazing combination. So I like to put uh, together some jars of pickled fennel, just thinly sliced, a little bit of a regular brine. We've got some orange peel and star anise in there, and there's some peppercorns hiding in the middle and you can put that on anything on top of a salad on a rice dish it's beautiful on top of some gently cooked fish all kinds mm. of things I've served it up here for you a little cheese and cracker style so it could be something on a cheese board I'm gonna, gonna take, take a little bite, bite. please mm -hmm. excuse me mm -hmm. mm. Mm. So, so yummy mm -hmm. and you get that little bit of the orangey tang mm. bright fresh Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't know what to do with fennel. So here's a great oh. way to incorporate fennel and citrus together. Now when you say a brine, is that hard to make? Super simple. The recipe's on my blog, Constantly Cooking. And it's just water, a little bit of cider vinegar, a bit of sugar and salt, and that's it. Mm. You just boil that up, pour it over the shaved fennel and the orange peel, and it's ready in 24 hours. You know, we celebrate at Christmas with special food, mm -hmm. and then we put it all away because we think, Not oh, we me. overindulged <laughs> at Christmas. No, 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 no. This is time to bring it back out again now that we're into February and celebrate again, but celebrate in a different way. This sure. is fresh. And, and, and it's not an light. indulgence, it's healthy. Mm -hmm, this mm -hmm. is super healthy. Pickled things are really good for our guts. So I'm encouraging people to find more ways to incorporate them. And this is a good point. The idea of having pickled things, fermented foods in mm -hmm. our diet, now is all the talk. We need to have more of that probiotic benefit, right? That's is right. that what it That's is? That's right, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's just good for the digestion. It can, people say it's even good for your complexion. Oh. I'm not one of those people that can drink apple cider vinegar straight. There's lots of them out there, good for you. But you're getting a little tiny dose whenever you eat something that's well, pickled. Well, if you're doing uh, apple cider vinegar in this and your skin looks like that, we should all be doing oh, this. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Blushing. <laughs> Blushing, <laughs> as it should be. So what else do we have here? Well, I love the look of this beautiful salad over mm -hmm. here. We've got a little arugula underneath for kind of a contrast of color, and then uh, four different kinds of oranges. So there's navel oranges on the bottom, and then the paler cara cara oranges, which are super sweet oh, yeah, next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blood oranges, which I love for their color, and then a few little clementine segments as well. And then just to make it a bit extra, we've got some pomegranate on top. I just love the look of them. They're so pretty, and as we know, they're so nutritious. And I know some people are a bit nervous about trying to get the seeds out, which are <laughs> called arrows by the way okay. um, you know you don't want your kitchen to look like a crime scene <laughs> but there's lots of videos on YouTube about different ways including underwater to open them oh. up and have the seeds just float up in a bowl and then you scoop them off and use them do you have do you use that method or do you have your own method I just use a knife and split it open I love getting my hands in there and working with them but you can also buy little jars of the pomegranate seeds mm -hmm. in uh, grocery stores so if you don't feel like taking it apart there's that option I remember as a kid my uncle Gerald used to once in a while treat us to a pomegranate when I was a little kid and one of the things that the reason they did it was it took us forever to get, to get through it so we were kids would all be That's busy great. for quite some time. And with this salad I put a little light lemon vinaigrette over top and it's just beautiful for a brunch for a lunch mm. you can make a big platter and people can serve themselves or plate individual ones for a party it could even be a dessert salad it's just so 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 pretty. Mm, it, it really is it's doing it for me at this time of year especially. That's right. Making me think sort of warmer weather. Sunshine on a plate. Now speaking of sunshine what is this These over here? Are uh, candied clementine lollipops so there's an actual clementine segment in here oh. and then I've made a sugar syrup with a boiling up sugar and water and a bit of cardamom and I just love the way mm. that they look the way that they taste it's mm. fun but you can feel the health of the citrus inside it looks like they're 
I've got gold dust inside. Mm -hmm. That's so pretty. Yeah, so, so pretty. And mm. a really fun thing to do with kids, especially if you have a reluctant fruit eater, mm -hmm. once you tell them you're going to make lollipops out of them, they'll be all ears. <laughs> so really, really, really fun. And um, I think we were saying before we started, I find that with my family anyway, they need their fruit liberated from its peel before they'll even consider eating it. So these are a great example. The salad's another example. I could have a fridge full of citrus. My husband would not, I'm sorry, honey, open one up right. and serve it to himself yep. but if i presented him with a plate full of peeled sliced fruit yep. he would just inhale all that. day long the combination of orange and cardamom is something i've never experienced is very special mm -hmm. yeah just so simple but it just seems to just make the flavors pop it's very complimentary and you said maybe even sprinkle cardamom on your salad absolutely too, right? mm -hmm. that would be a really nice way to again make the flavor pop mm. and you don't need to add a lot of vinaigrette in that case because flavors happening. You are on point today, Paula. Thank you. And then we're going over to this plate with the gorgeous looking, I don't know what that is. These are grapefruit shortbread bars. Oh. And they came about because everybody likes lemon squares. They make them all the time. Yeah. But I thought, heck, why can't we use a different citrus fruit <laughs> to make these squares? And so you did. Mm -hmm. Now, the um, recipe that Paula shared with us before Christmas for her no-bake coconut lemon squares mm -hmm. were a huge hit at my place for Christmas. I gave quite a few away as gifts Great. and put them in with other things. Everybody was like, oh, I gotta get those lemon squares. But this one is, I'm telling you, it's a tie. It's just oh. as delicious. If you dare try making a shortbread with a yummy dairy fruit topping. It's really, really, really easy. And um, I put some vanilla bean paste in there because just like the orange and cardamom, grapefruit and vanilla is a really, really, really good combination. And uh, they've just been such a huge hit. I've been serving them all this month. And it just, again, it's sunshine to look at and then you taste it and great for a tea party, book club gathering, mm -hmm. even if you're doing just a light dessert at a dinner party, lots of options there. Now, I, I've been meaning to ask you this question. You are like the consummate cook and it's all like, you're thinking about how people are going to enjoy the food you make. Mm -hmm. Does anybody do that for you? Yes, I have friends that will cook for me. They realize I would be happy with a sandwich, a hamburger. It doesn't matter. It's about the people, really, more than anything. And the food that I make is not intimidating food. It's not right. all precious and overstyled or anything like that. This is real people food yes. that I like to make and show people how to make. Yes. So I think that makes me approachable, I hope, oh, uh, for yes. other people to feed me. Definitely. And also, it makes it approachable for people to try your recipes yes. and share the experience. Because really, when I started making some of Paula's recipes, I, I felt like my friendship with her just got a little bit stronger because I thought she gets me I don't have a lot of time in the kitchen I want to enjoy what I'm doing and I want to have a great result and you've certainly hit the nail on the head there well thank you so you have a show on Rogers when does that air uh, the new season is going to start in March and it's on about four or five times a week I'm very fortunate I think Sunday evening at seven is sort of the first airing of each new episode and what's it called Paula Roy's favorite foods okay and your blog is constantly cooking mm -hmm. com. that's right and Paula will have all the recipes here today up on the blog for you to enjoy so make sure to check that out thank you very much for joining us for coffee today thank you Paula for sharing your beautiful thank gift you. with all of us enjoy your day